are you having any challenges submitting your information on the rechain discord server that's exactly the situation i found myself in a few minutes ago but not anymore so in this video i'm going to walk you through the trick that i use or rather the solution that i found on the problem of how to submit your, all the required information on discord after submitting here and by the way if you have not submitted here i've already put together a tutorial on how to submit your information on the ari chain wallet now let's go complete the last one so go launch your discord app find the ari chain discord server all right so now on the ari chain discord server look for account registration look at it here you tap on it earlier before now if i find myself on this page i will not see the message and this is where you need to start the boat to be able to submit your information so now you can see i now have the message i can type right so what did i do that make me start seeing this text box here I simply came over to Google Play Store, I entered the site for Discord and when it showed up, the version I was using was an older version, so I updated. Once you find yourself here and find an update button, it means you're using an old version, so I updated the app. And then I launched it and lo and behold, this text box showed up. So what do you need to do here? You're going to enter a command, a forward slash, this one here. Now it's going to bring up this ARI account registration boat, right? That's what you're looking for, so you click on it. So it has been entered here, then you click on send. So it will bring up something like this. So like you submitted on the ARI app, your EVM wallet address is the same address you're going to submit here. Then Twitter handle is the same as you did there. Then this time around, you're not going to submit the Discord handle because you are already on Discord. So let's go get an EVM wallet address. For some of you who still do not understand what EVM compatible wallet is, just come over to your DeFi wallet, like Trust Wallet or MetaMask, then find Ethereum on that wallet, right? Ethereum on that wallet is automatically EVM compatible. They usually start with 0x. So you copy the address. You go and submit in the address box so make sure it's the same wallet you submitted on the app right so for the twitter handle make sure you're starting with that character at then you enter your twitter handle that's mine now let's go get our ari wallet so to get your ari wallet you simply come over to your ari chain app right where you used to farm the address so you click on the receive button under your balance then you click on copy this is your ari wallet address bring it over and paste it here then you click on submit there's a lot of traffic going on here so after successfully submitting, you will find this confirmation here. So this is mine. This is mine. you can see my Discord display name, Terry Goodman. I reach an app. Your wallet information has been saved. Resubmit anytime to update. So if you feel find out you make any mistake, just come follow the process all over. Now all of these people submitting Discord name, wallet address. This there is a warning against that that you should not submit this information here. But I guess um, maybe they don't understand, right? This is what you need to do. You can see my information is not displayed here. My Twitter handle and all that. This is how you need to do it. Not to paste it on the group like these persons are doing, right? So take note, guys. That's how to go about it. Thanks so much. So this is the last information registration step, right? So after submitting this, I think all we got left is TGE and launch, mainnet launch listing and trading. So congratulations in advance. Do have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.